All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shai, Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shai, Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shai. Call Hola Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson. Lord is willing. It'll be edifying as usual. I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kwadash. Uh, it shouldn't be too long. It shouldn't be too long. It should be a real quick video. I just had, um, I had a, um, I don't know, th this, um, thought this theme i don't know these scriptures were in my head uh last night and i woke up and it was still in my mind in my lob so i said um i guess yeah about me i was shy wanted me to do a little lesson on it i mean they're, they're simple scriptures but for some reason they were in my mind um oh <laughs> also i've been watching this series for you brothers that be looking for good series to watch you the, the um the sincere akium that are in this thing of ours this truth you know, we're watching these um, movies, these um, different shows. We watch them with the spiritual eye. You know, we, we, you know, we can see Esau eat him. You know, he likes to put his, um, you know, he likes to show what he's gonna do in his in his movies, man, and and his and his shows. You know, that goes back to the witchcraft and magic, the sleight of hand. You know, Esau eat him does stuff called gradualism, and he also shows you what he's gonna do before he does it. You know, that's all in the power of witchcraft and magic. You know, sleight of hand. But um, anyway, um, yeah, I was watching this series. I'm, I haven't gotten too far into it, but so far it's good, man. Um, it's called Utopia, and um, I, I heard about it through social media. They said it's actually a British, a Brit, British UK series originally, and they say the British series is way better. So I'm gonna watch that. Um, Lord, Lord's willing, I don't, I don't want to write this um, when I get through with this one. But um, I'm watching the American version, which I, I found it on um, Amazon Prime. You know, it's called Utopia. Again, Utopia. And I'm not going to say too much on it, but uh, <laughs> it, it, it's fire. I think it's a good um, good um, shit series. You know, it shows you a lot of the wickedness that Esau Edom does, how he does, um, you know, how he... We always keep telling you this COVID-19 is a pandemic. Matter of fact, when the show starts every before every episode, they have a huge disclaimer that this is uh, not based on um, real real events. You know, the, the pandemic because it goes into a pandemic. You know, it goes into a lot of things, man. <laughs> it shows you how uh, Esau Edom uses crisis crises crisis actors. It, it, it's just I don't know. It's, it's just it's just fire. Utopia, like I said again, Utopia. It's on. I, I found it on Amazon Prime. And uh, like I said, supposedly, allegedly, um, the the UK, the British version is a lot better, but I haven't watched it yet. But I um, highly suggest you go watch it. But um, um, basically, that's why they, these scriptures were in my mind. Hindsight, you know, hindsight. You know, they say there's a thing that they like to say, um, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, that's a saying that the world has, you know. You know, so, you know... Like I said, I'm just going in the spirit, not going to be too long. Um, pretty much, like I said, just, that's what was in my mind through watching that video. You know, <laughs> Esau will be doing his predictive programming. You know, as it is written, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. You know, we're close, man. We're real close. We're real close to getting out of here. And all hell breaking loose. The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, it's all drawing nigh. Okay? Anyway, let's get it popping. Um, I got it. The definition of hindsight, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows. We've heard, we've all heard that saying before. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but the scriptures tell you that. Yahweh Yahweh Shai tells you that. You know, Hi, matter of fact, let, let's start with that one, and then I'll get the um, then I'll get the definition of, of hindsight. So this is Deuteronomy. Um, I start at uh, twenty-two. Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-two, and this is talking about. You know, ultimately, hey, this is mo this has had because the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the scriptures sometimes are manifold, have ma manifold meaning. You know, and the fire that this is talking about is talking about the intercontinental ballistic missiles, thermonuclear destruction. You know, the fire from the laser beams off the chariots, which you call UFOs. You know, the fire, the anger from the Lord. You know, it's all you know, manifold. You know, but anyway, 
Deuteronomy, and this is this is the punishment that that the two thirds of Yasharal is going to receive, two thirds of Israel, you know, because they refuse to repent. You know, it's not meant. This judgment is not meant for you, man. It's meant chiefly for Esau, Edom, and and the other nations, the wicked. But two thirds they refuse to get right, man. You know, hey, but you're gonna you're gonna you know hindsight. Hindsight is twenty twenty. When you're in the kingdom and you and you you you're reborn through the loins of the um the hope the the elect you know you know you're gonna what it's the scripture so you're gonna arise some shall arise to everlasting shame and contempt you know we know that's not gonna be forever but for a period of time in the kingdom the two thirds they're gonna when they're when they're reborn they're gonna come back and they're gonna be humble man they're gonna be quiet they're gonna be shameful for how they conducted themselves on on, on this side you know on this go around you know you know. That's why, uh, you know, I'm titling the lesson hindsight is 2020, you know, you know. So this is Deuteronomy 32, verse 22. It says, for a fire is kindled in mine anger, you know, the righteous anger, the indignation of the Lord. Okay. You bought the people think, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, the Lord that, you know, who you call God and his first begotten son, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? They think. They're all love, man, okay, which they are. They love, a lot of love, long-suffering, merciful, but they also are jealous powers, man, men of war, you know? And you're going to experience that, man, okay, that, that, that anger, that righteous anger, you know? The indignation, indignation means righteous anger, all right? That's what's going to be in those missiles, man, the indignation of the Lord, man, okay? You know, it says, with, by fire he shall plead with all flesh, you know? Hey, the Lord is a consuming fire, okay? It says, for a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase. That's talking about the nukes, man. And set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend mine arrows, see, the broken arrow, ICBMs, right? I will spend mine arrows upon them because that's part of his army, his host. The Lord of hosts, all right? The Lord of Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, okay? That's part of the Lord's armies, okay? Is the, is, the, is the nukes, okay? It says, I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without terror, with, it says the sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man, because the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, he's going to slay, he's not going to, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not a respect of persons, okay, you know. It says the sword without, the sword without and the terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the, suck, the suckling also the man of gray hairs, okay, old, young men, maids, little, you know. Anybody can get it, man, if you ain't right, okay? That's going to be the judgment, okay? You're going to feel the, the indignation of the Lord, okay? You know? That's why, like I said, I'm going to title this lesson, Hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. you know? It says, verse, 30, verse 26, it says, I said I would scatter them into the corners, and that has happened, you know? We discontinued from my heritage, you know? You know, and that man is sin revealed, you know? You know, Esau, Edom, the wicked, you know, that's why we say, uh, that's why we always tell you that, you know, you tribes are, are mainly, predominantly, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, you know, lat so-called Latinos, Hispanics, you know, um, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, but also the Israelite foreigners, okay? You're going to have Israelites that are scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. That's part of the curses, man. You're going to have Israelites that are going to come back looking like the heathen nations, but their seed... Okay, their lineage, according to their father, goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs, one of the 12 tribes, you see. So it says, I said I would scatter them into the corners and that has happened. And then what also has happened? This word has gone out to the four corners of the earth. Right. That's how we know where the end is. is the end is near because the angels are holding back the winds of destruction per revelations. OK, and that's why that's why that's why we do these videos to wake up the hopeful elect, you know, so we can get out of here. You know, I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make them remembrance of them to cease from among men. 
It says, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say our hand is high. The Lord Yahweh hath not done all this. Yeah, because we, we're in these conditions, not because Esau, Edom is so powerful, or he's so smart, or he's so great, or the other nations are so great. We, we're in these conditions because we, we moved Yahweh Bacham Yahweh Shai to anger, you know? We pissed him off, you know? It says, for they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there understanding in them. Talking about Yasharala, man, you know, Yasharala, okay, two-thirds of Israel, they can't get right, the whole head is sick, you know, that's why it says, why should you be stricken anymore, okay, you know, it's nothing you can do, the Lord can punish you over and over, which he has done, captivity after captivity, all these curses, they're upon you for a sign and a wonder, and you still don't consider, you know, you know, it says, this, hey, Deuteronomy 32 and 28, talking about Israel, Yasharala, okay, two-thirds of Israel, okay, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, okay, for they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them, this is the main point that I wanted, oh, that they were, Deuteronomy 32 and 29, oh, that they were wise, that they should understand this, this Lachia, oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end, you know, and that's what, that's like I said, hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. Jake don't consider their latter end, man. You know, you know they think they're gonna stay in Babylon the Great forever. They don't think this man is ever growing down. They don't think they're gonna have to answer for the things they've done in this body in this life, man. You know, but hindsight is twenty twenty, man. So off of Google, um, hindsight, right? It's the basic common uh, uh, definition, right? It says understanding of a situation or event only after it has happened or developed. <clears throat> and that's Jake, man. They only going to understand <laughs> after all hell break loose, man. You know, then they shall know a prophet have been amongst them, you know? Then they're going to consider, man. Then they're going to want to get right. Then they're going to seek, want to seek the Lord. But it's going to be too late, man. He's not going to be found. He's going to laugh at your calamity. He's going to mock you, Okay? Because the the, 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 the uh, place of repentance is open. That grace, that mercy is, is there. The Lord is long-suffering. But you just refuse, man. You, you the, His arm is stretched out all the day long, and you just knock the shit away, man. Okay? Scoff, scorn, talk shit, mock, ridicule. So the Lord is, oh, man, you're going to catch hell, man. And you're going, like I said, hindsight. Oh, that they were wise to consider their latter end, man. You, you know, Jake ain't considering their latter end, you know? It says, Luke, straight out of Yahweh Shai's mouth, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who is a so-called Negro, a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, okay, who's coming back to save his people, okay, Israelites, okay, Yasharala, the only the elect of Israel too, man, okay, not the whole house, man, okay, you know, the elect, only the ones that's repentful, getting right, man, being obedient, fighting this good fight, to the best of their ability, you know? So this is Luke chapter 12, verse 39. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, and who's the thief? Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is the thief. He's coming to catch you when you least expect it, man, when, with, with your pants down, man. Catch you in your wickedness, wallowing in your sins, okay? He's going to catch you when you least expect it. And your security, man, okay? You know, and you ain't going to have shit to say. All you're going to be able to say is, I could have, I should have, you know, could have, would have, should have. Why didn't I? Hindsight. Oh, that I was wise to consider my latter end. Hindsight is twenty twenty. you know? It says, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched. Okay, and that's what we're doing. Because we know the thief is coming, Yahweh Shai. So we're occupying till he comes, man. We're being obedient to the best of our ability, man. Watching these new, watching the news, watching the prophecy, reading, watching the brothers, warning the people, being repentful, you know, putting on as the elect, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know. We're getting our house in order, you know. And, and this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. You see? 
Be ye therefore ready also. You see, you got to be ready, man. You got to be ready because you don't know. All hell can break loose in, 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 a, in a split second, man. You know, you can wake up and all hell be breaking loose. You can come back from your lunch break and all hell is breaking loose. You can go to the restroom at, your, at, at, at work and all hell is breaking loose, man. You know, you could take a nap and wake up and all hell is breaking loose, man. You know, it says be therefore ready also. Just like if you're a, a, if you call yourself a man of the Lord, a so-called prophet, a teacher, you got to be ready also. Ready what? Apt to teach, you know, you know. See, it says, be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. You see, when they say peace and safety, what? Sudden destruction shall come upon them as a woman in travail. You know? You see? So like I said, hindsight. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Hindsight, understanding of a situation. Understand what time you're in, man. You know, understand what you're involved in. You know, like the elders always say. Understand the gravity of the situ situation, you know, count the cost, you know, you know, with all that scripture say, with all I get and get understanding, you know, understanding a, of a situation or event, you know, Jacob's trouble, hour of temptation, that's a major event that's drawing nigh, the third's woe, you know, it's drawing nigh, understand it, man, understand what it entails, okay, uh, you know. Understanding of a situation or event only after it has happened or developed, you know, and that's why there's going to be a crying for wine, man. There's, they're going to be begging for answers, but it ain't going to ain't gonna be no answers, man. The men of the Lord per Amos, I uh, was the eight and 11, I believe it's going to be a famine of the word. The Lord is going to withdraw his men, you know, I'm going to close out here. Like I said, basic scripture, we always go through it over and over. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to close out. I'm going to just go through, you know, go through the spirit, you know. Adwan and Rataza, this was edifying. My damn internet kicked out. Oh, well, whatever, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's, I'm going to close out here. So, um, second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then. I'm going to just breeze through it, man, you know. It breaks itself down, man. This is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. Read the whole chapter. 2 Ezra 9. You know, 2 Ezra chapter uh, 13 is a good chapter too, I believe. 2 Ezra uh, 15. 2 Ezra 16. You know, uh, Matthew chapter 24 all on down, you know. Those are good books to read, man. You know, you know. The whole book is good. Read the whole Bible, man. Read, read the whole roll. Eat the whole roll. Anyway, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall, shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, and we're trying to be saved, man, we're trying to be delivered from the said perils, man, okay? And everyone, <clears throat> that's why we say the hopeful elect, we got to give diligence, you know, to make our calling and election sure, you know, faith plus works, you know, I show you my faith by my works, you know, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed shall be preserved. Okay. That tawa, that, that exemption, that mark from exemption, you know shall be preserved from the said perils, evil times, bad times, you know, Jacob's trouble, tribulation, you know, civil unrest, race wars, class wars, famine, diseases, war, you know, domestic violence, all type of hell, raping, cannibalism, you know, all manner of hell, per Daniel 12 and 1, a time like never before, man, okay, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land, and within my borders, 
for I have sanctified them from the beginning. I said, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's why we always say, hey, we're just characters in the Lord's movie, man. It's about predestination. The first fruits, you know. Lord's willing we be those men, you know. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case, the two-thirds of Israel. Yasharala, man. The wicked, wicked-ass jakes that refuse to get right, refuse to repent and turn back to their power. Yahweh why Yahweh Shai, okay. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case, you know. Oh, that oh that they were wise to consider the latter end, man. Hindsight, man. Hindsight. If they had took heed, man, you know. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, right? They put them behind them. You know, the laws are done away with. They're doing their own thing, you know? It says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits, you got your reward. Whatever you got on this side, that's your consolation, man. You know? That's your reward. You know, your little job, your little children, your little your little piece of shit house, piece of shit car. You know, because ain't nothing on this side worth a damn. You know, I don't give a damn if you're living in a damn multi-million dollar mansion and driving a, a damn Maybach or Bugatti. It ain't shit, man, compared to the, what we're going to receive. You know, you know, matter of fact, all of this is to be dissolved. You know, you know, it's vanity, nothing, you know. So you sold your soul for not, you know. Hey, but that's your reward. That's your consolation. You know, being admired, being praised on this side. You know, you're going to come back in the kingdom in everlasting shame and contempt. You're going to have your head down. You're going to be humbled. We're going to be the stars. We're going to be shining. You know, I don't want to rot this out. We, we keep enduring. We, we keep pushing. You know, you know, I started at nine again. It says, then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that... And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, you know. And they that have loathed my law, you hated the law. While they had yet liberty, grace, okay, you know, time to get yourself right, your house in order, you know. Not do your own thing, but repent and beg for mercy, you know. And they that had, stop it, and they that have loathed, my law, meaning hated my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance, that's what we keep telling you. That's what Yahweh Shem Yahushai commanded us, you know. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, okay. Not to us, you, I can't save you. To Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, okay. The heavenly Father and His Son, okay. Get right, man. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, that like we always say, the doors of mercy are still open. They're closing, but not, not closed yet. Understood not. You see, understood not. Oh, that they were wise to consider their latter end. Hindsight. You see? And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So one, one way or another, you're going you gonna to learn <laughs> to be obedient. These laws, statutes, and commandments are going to get put in you whether you like it or not. That's the second covenant, okay? These laws, statutes, and commandments put in our inward parts. Man, we're going to be perfect, okay? And like I said, the two-thirds, you, you, you refuse to, to, to try now to get to learn the laws and repent and rehearse the righteous acts now. So you're going to get it as a newborn babe, man. Okay, but you're going to rise to everlasting shame and contempt, man, you know, after you've experienced death by pain. You see? You see? It's plain. It's plain. It's very simple, you know? It says, and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly, the wicked, you wicked ass two-thirds, man, okay, shall be punished. And when? Okay? Because the Lord is not slack as some men count slackness, but long-suffering that all may come to repentance. You see? At the, you're going to have to pay that bill, man. It's going, it's due. It's due, okay? It's drawing nigh. You're going to have to pay that tab, okay? And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire 
how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created, the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect of Yasharala. That's the only thing Yahabashim Yahawashai cares about. That's the only thing we care about, the hopeful elect, okay? Everything else is vanity. Nothing is going to come to naught, okay? You know, we endure all things as it is written for the elect's sake, okay? You know? Anyway, with that being said, said Lord's willingness was edifying. Hey, like I always keep, like I always say, man, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep your eye on the, keep your eye on the prize. We're close, we're close. Shalom, wa abad babol.